good afternoon, my sweet friends. My name is Holland McCray. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you've come to join me for a Christmas room tour. I'm so looking forward to showing you all my wonderful Christmas decorations for 2024. I'm going to tell you where I got them, and I'm going to show you an in-depth look at how I created my displays and let's get started but before we do make sure to subscribe click the notifications bell to get notified about when i post another video click the like button and helps youtube get my videos out to more people and leave me a comment i love reading all your wonderful comments and let's get started i hope you enjoy it and merry christmas first we're going to start over here on my door let me come in a little closer on my door i have a green garland with white lights in it with buffalo check red bows on it and then in the center of my door I have this lighted red bow that's really pretty with colored lights on it and then over here is the piece of resistance it is my Wizard of Oz Christmas tree for 2024 you can see it has a Glenda Tree topper on it. It has Munchkin ornaments, the Lullaby League and the Lollipop Guild, the Munchkin Corner and Mirror. It has Miss Gulch, Glinda, the Wicked Witch, the Ruby Slippers, the Tin Man, Lion, Scarecrow, and all your favorite Wizard of Oz characters. So let me go in and show it to you. And I even put in the poppies to emulate the poppies. And this looks really pretty at night. That Toto ornament right there with the Santa hat was given to me by my friends Win and Cherry. Here's a follow the yellow brick road ornament I made. Here's a, a lion ornament, just regular. Just all pretty ornaments. Then as we come on my bed, let me just we have here. Just some snowflake lights. Up then we have a red candy, uh, not a candy cane, but a red stocking. Then a red bow with a Justin Bieber Santa hat on it. And a Justin Bieber stocking on the other side. The reason I have the Justin Bieber hat is because that was given to me by my friend Teresa Ann Mewson. She also gave me a, a Justin Bieber poster and a Justin Bieber ornament to go with it. And it ties in with the Justin Bieber pillow I have on my bed. And I also have a clown, clown doll and a Bob Ross doll on my bed as well. But the piece of resistance on the bed is this beautiful blanket given to me by Pat Potter. It has these beautiful red trucks with beautiful Christmas trees on it and then up above here we have my Christmas Fandelier Have you seen my video I showed it to you when I'm going to show an in-depth look to it how this got started yes as you guess I come a little closer as I have a beautiful chandelier ornament here that's hanging by gold by, a, by gold kind of garland pieces with another kind of another uh, crystal ornament there hanging by a gold piece and the, the piece of garland and then I put some gold garland up on my light fixture and I put blue icicles surrounding the, that chandelier ornament with snowflakes with disco ball ornaments dangling from it and then on the fan blades I put a blue and white snowflake so on the vertical one I put two blue snowflakes with a white snowflake on the outside and then on the on the on the horizontal 
Kind of like I put a white snowflake that's felt and a, and a snowflake that's white. And dangling from them, the inner, I put another white snowflake on each of them. And I put these beautiful. Over there, you can see these beautiful icicles dangling from them. And then on the center snowflakes here, I put these beautiful crystals with some more of that gold garland with more of those disco ball ornaments. Then over here, I put on the lights. This looks real pretty as I put a snowflake with a disco ball ornament hung by one of those more of those garlands. And then I just put a beautiful beautiful icicles and I did that all around so I'm gonna come in and show you it it looks really pretty at night but you can see how beautiful it looks here's an up close personal look on it then let's move over here over here is my closet what I did is I hung strung these candy cane lights above my closet and then I put this red and white garland with candy cane hanging ornaments and then a snow blue snowflake wreath and a kind of red and green poinsettia wreath. Then I just put some some Christmas trees and a Santa Claus hanging off my bulletin board with some more of those icicles hanging down. Then if we come over here, let me just sit down and I'll show you this. We, I have three Christmas scenes in my house. This is one of them up top there. Those are Christmas village houses from Dollar Tree. They're from Cobblestone Corners. They're really pretty and I got those. This year, and I just put the white snow with the Christmas trees and the people. It's really pretty beautiful. Then on the, the shelf down below, I have two Christmas trees with a light up ceramic Christmas house. It looks really pretty at night. Then as we come down, we got here this lighted Christmas tree that I got at Ross with some snow. It looks really pretty. Then down below there is our Holy Family, the Nativity. This looks really pretty in, at night. And the reason I have the Holy Family and the Nativity, I got it last year, is because for me, Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. At Christmas, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I wanted to, to incorporate Jesus Christ into my Christmas decorating. So I put up this beautiful nativity. And it is just gorgeous at night. I love looking at it. It's beautiful. Then over here, we got this lighted Christmas tree I've had for a long time. I got it at Nifty Thrift. And then up here, I have this lighted, beautiful, glittery Snowflake candle holder. I got it. Goodwill. Then this tree. This little Christmas tree. I got this at CVS. The lights are just battery powered operated lights. And I just put up some beautiful Christmas ornaments on it. And the star also lights up. So we got a Santa Claus ornament. A snowflake ornament. A dove ornament, a Christmas tree ornament, just a bunch of different ornaments. <laughs> then over here, we have my little TV center. Let me just sit down and I'll show this to you. So we got, on top of the TV, we have this beautiful home for the holidays lighted house. I got it. Grocery outlet and then on my, on my coca-cola fridge and on the next to that fridge I have two Christmas trees both came from grocery outlet as well the one on top of the 
Coca-Cola fridge lights up beautifully. And I and the, the Christmas tree with the the green Christmas tree with the jingle bells in it with the gold star. I also put a battery powered lights on that and it now lights up. Both of those I got at grocery outlet a few years ago. Then this this beautiful Christmas tree here I got at Safeway and it lights up multicolored. But it's star broke, so I put on this beautiful gold star on it. It looks beautiful. And here's my window of a piece of resistance over here. As I put this garland up above my window with bows and a gray, white, gray, white and gray snowflakes with it. Then on the window itself, I have a plethora of different ornaments. I can have hanging snowflake ornaments with colored lights, battery powered lights on them, on top that are hanging that the snowflakes illuminate from. Then I have a white snowflake, a, a gray snowflake, and a blue snowflake, and a white snowflake. The blue snowflake ties in with the blue snowflakes on my fandelier. And then I have these crystal ornaments that I hung from them. Then I hung some more of those beautiful icicles again. Then above I have a mitten ornament, a wreath ornament, a peace ornament, a bird ornament, then a little colorful ornament, then a bird ornament, then a poinsettia ornament, then a Santa Claus ornament, Another stocking again, then another kind of gold ornament. Then I also have these beautiful cross ornaments with checkered bows on them. The reason I have the crosses on my window is to, is to represent the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And hanging from them, I have crystal ornaments. But this one right here has the Holy Family on it. To, to kind of go with the Holy Family that I already showed you, and that is to, to represent the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Then right here, we got a candy cane gingerbread Christmas house, and another light-up Christmas house, both light-up. Then I got the Santa Claus at Lucky's a few years ago, and it was the same with his lighted Merry Christmas sign. Then I have these village people that are singing, and they're just from the Christmas village. Then I put this icicles on the bottom here. Just thought it was a good touch. Then over here, we have a wreath, a beautiful Christmas wreath that I made. Let me come in and show you this. I put a glittery red bow. It's got holly berries, just snow on it is really pretty then over here i have this let it snow sign that came from grocery outlet as well and it has another check bow those check bows came from dollar tree and these lights here came from michael's but some of the crystal did as well and some of the crystals as well as that chandelier ornament came from michael's as well then whoa this is a fun, let me go in. This is my Christmas village for 2024. It's kind of the city center. I have the hotel, the toy shop, the church, a house, a tree. I have city hall, the post office, another house, another um, um, house, and a Santa Claus house. Then I have a light up Christmas tree in the middle with different figurines. I thought it would look very cute and very pretty. Then down here we got another light up Christmas village. There. And it has a school in the back. Another house, a bake shop, a toy store, a church, a Queen's Inn, and this beautiful 
gazebo type thing and I have that as well it looks really pretty at night if you saw my other video you'll see it lit up at night I'll try to link that below one last look at everything Here, here, show you the window really quick. Show you my bed really quickly, and then the Oz tree. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your Tuesday to watch this Christmas spectacular room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think on my displays in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And God bless you. And remember, Jesus is the reason we celebrate the Christmas season. God bless. I love each and every one of you. Take care.